Scorpio, this is Soul. Scorpio, this is your uh, message for the week ahead of um, August 21st through the 27th, 2017. Messages will also be for Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. Okay, my fellow Scorpions, I hope all is well. Let's begin your messages here. So, for the most part, you know, all of your um, cards are in the reverse position. But just let's see what's happening because you have the major arcana the emperor in the upright so this is card of control and order so depending on the messages that come from the uh, other cards that i'm about to read for you just keep in mind that this is the central theme here for you that whatever takes place you're going to be in control and you're going to maintain order okay so there might be a little bit of a rough start for some of you this upcoming week but i feel that you know with the emperor showing up that all will be well the emperor represents aries it could also represent leo and sagittarius male or female this is a card of authority so it also could relate to uh, judges lawyers police officers or anything if i'm reading for scorpios who are in that um capacity work capacity that could involve you and then there's something else that's going on uh that may be just uh, explicitly related to the work that you do okay but I don't want to dig too deep into that just know that the uh, Emperor is showing up here um, possessing the energy of having to con you know control or maintain control or be uh, in balance of anything that may come up or crop up in your uh, life or situation this upcoming week the Queen of Swords is following the emperor and this is in the reverse so maybe it's about something major um that some of you have to uh, you know that you're pondering or have to decide on usually when the queen and the kings come in uh and, and they're the swords and they're in the reverse that means there's something major in terms of decision making uh someone could be well maybe someone had made a decision since this is showing up in the uh, reverse it's in the past position that's a completion for me so maybe there was some sort of um, decision that was major that was related to possible some sort of legal or justice or um, something that may have been you know out of control or out of order for you because this emperor is in the upright so it may have been something going on back here in the past that was sort of a little bit out of control for you now you're trying to uh, achieve or regain that uh, you know order and control back all right so something major uh, this queen is facing in a direction so that means you already decided so she's looking forward he or she is looking forward to whatever it is that she used that sword to uh, cut out any things that were in disarray all right that's how I'm picking up the messages all right so the swords represents you know Gemini Libra Aquarius male or female but normally with the king and queen I get an older feel but this doesn't really matter i'm just getting that there was some sort of decision um that some of you made you were very determined to make that decision for others this upcoming week if it's not related to anything in the past then that means there's something still major that you have to decide upon but you're still pondering about it um it is something that's very uh, deep and close to your heart it could be uh and it's causing some sort of a conflict at this present time once that conflict or the decision is made then the queen flips up and then she's used that sword he or she has used the sword to cut a, cut away uh that conflicting energy or the uncertainty there's a, a tone of uncertainty here with this queen about some sort of decision maybe it relates to some sort of traveling since the six of staffs or six of wands is in the reverse as well okay maybe you have um you know you want to take a trip this is a, a traveling card for me as well but there is minimum success and uh, victory with this card it's fully impacted when it's in the upright the victory and uh, success okay but it's still coming towards you uh, but it may be based on the decision that you have to make so if it's related to traveling plans or if it's related to any uh, fire sign energies Aries Leo or Sagittarius male or female that's equated with the Emperor that could be what's going on with uh, some of you in terms of having to make or decide on something that's very close and important to you all right the higher fine is a major arcana that's showing up in the reverse so this could be uh, a couple messages coming in as a completion uh, this also could go out to um, those Scorpios who are about to return to school um, since this is a card of um, higher uh, education and learning so it could be that some of you 
um, may have started to go back. I know this is the usually the month where, uh, at least in the United States, where people start to go back to um, uh, classes, uh, universities or whatever. And this is uh, also to mirror ring the queen. So maybe there's a decision because this is also a relationship card, specifically Taurus other earth signs capricorn and, and uh, virgo so maybe there's a major decision related to an earth sign if it's a relationship that could be why the queen is in the uh, reverse position whether or not is if it's traveling involved it, it it doesn't really matter this could be just a separate uh, message for those who may be trying to make a decision about um where to travel um when to travel yeah, just apply the how, when, what, and why to any traveling plans or some sort of uh, heavy decision. But I do feel that because this is mirror, mirroring the uh, higher font, there's something about this could also relate to the educational uh, aspects too. Uh, for some of you who may be um, taking up studies, you're undecided about uh, either some sort of uh, curriculum or some sort of school. So, so many things that I could uh, pull out here for you, but I'm going to stay within the time uh, constraints that are allotted for these videos. I'm trying to make them shorter and not spend too much time being repetitive. So, whatever the messages are uh, related to the emperor, uh, like I said before, Scorpio, you're going to be in control and have order, okay? Um, and just because these cards are in the reverse doesn't always have to be associated with negativity, all right? So this is your reading for this upcoming week. Um, don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional messages. With that being said, Scorpio, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead, full of love and light. Until I talk to you again, please be well. Bye.